All right, guys. I'm doing a uh, a 2000. For, uh, 2014 collection video of all my guns. Now it's not going to be all my guns because I don't like to show my entire collection. I like to keep some uh, off the radar. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Here we go. We're going to start off right here. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible because the last video I made was exactly like 30 minutes. So here we're going to start off. I'm going to start off with my 6 hour 1911. This is a C3. Uh, it's a beautiful weapon. It comes with all the features you like in the 1911. Uh, Pretty much it comes with a Crimson Chase laser, a bevel magwell, all the things you'd like for about $800. Moving on. Excuse me, I'm going fast because like I said, the last video I made was extremely long. I didn't even realize it. Moving on to my Smith & Wesson 1911. Not much to say about the gun. I do shoot it sometimes. I enjoy it. It's a fun gun to shoot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and move down. I'm moving down to my Springfield Loaded 1911. I love this 1911 for one reason. It is my first and favorite 1911. All right. Uh... I put a lot of rounds through it. Pretty much every time I go to range, I try to take this 1911 when I do have 45 caliber rounds to shoot. Moving on to my second favorite 1911, which is going to be my uh, Ruger 1911. This is commander size. I love it. One of the reasons I love this, I will talk and stop and speak on this weapon for a little bit, is because for what you, the quality of the craftsmanship on this weapon, you get a lot of uh, gun for your money. Um, I bought this gun for a little over $600. It's on sale right now for $575, but I don't care. I'm, I don't mind paying what I paid for it, but it is on sale. For, like I said, if you want a quality 1911, go ahead and get yourself a uh, Ruger 1911. Moving down to my Springfield. This is my very first 1911. Uh, nothing much to say about it, uh, pretty much. Uh, it's a World War II model. I changed out the, the grips, put my name on it, nothing much. Moving on up to the second row right here. See if my son, you got a good view on it. I want you to get a good view. All right, uh, there it is. This is my Ruger LCR. This is one of my carry guns. I enjoy it. Um, I will say this, comfortable to carry, trigger smooth to shoot, but as far as the actual recoil, it is not fun. Um, this is a 38 caliber. They also make this in 357. Um, I'll tell you this. Uh, one of the reasons I actually bought this, which I'm moving down to the SP-101 right here, this is the SP-101. One of the reasons I bought the SP-101 is because of the recoil on this um, LCR. This is also one of the weapons I carry. I actually carry 357s in this one. Um, I'll tell you right now, this is a five shot. This is also a five shot. Five, here holds five shots. Um, I happen to like revolvers. A lot of people don't. I do. I enjoy revolvers. They're very simple, easy to use. I like them. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Not much to say on it. I bought it for the main reason of the recoil on the uh, LCR. Moving on to the uh, my 629. This is my Dirty Harry weapon. I like my Dirty Harry weapon. I bought it for a collector's piece. That's the only reason I bought it. I just wanted to have a 45, I'm sorry, 45, a 44 Magnum in my collection. I have it. I shoot it every so often just to say I shoot it and enjoy it, just to make loud noises and have fun. Moving on down to my 625. Now my 625 was also a collector's piece, uh, but I found that I, I, I enjoy shooting it. So most of the time, whenever I take my uh, my Springfield out, I also take this out and I actually go out and shoot it and have a blast. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I like the fact that it shoots 45 calibers. I enjoy it. All right, moving down to one of my first revolvers, actually my very, very first revolver, which is my 686 um, plus this whole seven rounds. I bought this 15 years back. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't shoot it very much anymore. It just sits basically a safe queen. I haven't shot it in about maybe eight or nine years. I don't buy rounds for it. It's just one of it's us. I keep it for sentimental value. I rarely sell guns. If I buy a gun, I'm pretty much not going to sell it. I'm going to own it for the rest of my life. Um, so that's my 686. Uh, Moving on to that third row right there, trying to go as quickly as possible with this. Because my last video was extremely long, long. Can you get this in view? Got it yes. in view? All right. This is a weapon my wife likes to carry. This is really hers, not really mine. Um, I bought it for her. Um, I'll tell you this. This is my LC9. I like this weapon. It's small. It's good for pocket carry. I carry it sometimes. She likes it. It's easy to carry in her purse or on her person. Um, only thing I don't like about it is it has a magazine disconnect and the safety. I do like the uh, loaded chamber indicator. I like that. Um, it holds seven plus one so it's eight total rounds it holds it has good capacity i like it moving on down to another ruger this is my ruger sr 22 i like this this is a very 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 good gun 
Only thing I don't like about it is the safety and also has a magazine disconnect. Now the safety, I really hate the safety on this one because it's opposite of every other safety that you can go by. Now the safety up here, when you push the safety down, it's ready to fire. This one, when you push the safety down, it's on safe, which is stupid. Um, it's totally opposite of most safety. When you push it up, it's on, it's ready to fire. I think that's stupid. Um, I don't know what, what they were thinking on that one, but I will say this as far as the way it shoots, it shoots awesome. I enjoy the way it shoots. It is a quality weapon outside of those things. I will never sell the gun. I still like it. Just I don't like safeties. And then on that, on top of that, the way they made the safety is opposite of every other safety out there. All right, this is my carry gun. This is right here. Is my uh, six hour two two six. This is my carry gun. This is the gun I carry. I carry a full size weapon. I enjoy it. Not much to say about it. Holds twelve in the magazine, one in the hole. I carry eighty percent of the time. Moving on down to my six hour. Excuse me, guys. My six hour two twenty. This is my very first six hour. That was the very first one I bought. Um, not much to say about it. I rarely shoot it anymore. It's basically a safe queen. It's 45 caliber. I enjoy it. Moving on down to a, my former carry gun. I carried this for quite a few years before I trans transitioned over to the 226. This weapon right here is the uh, same thing. Holds 12 in the mag, uh, one in the hole. Uh, I like it. I just transitioned over from that to this because I used to ding this up and I, it's like. It's pretty. I like the way it looks. I didn't want to get it dinged up, so I switched over to the 226. Moving on up to my IWI, which is my Israeli Weapon Industries Jericho, or better known as the Baby Eagle. Um, nice gun. I bought it because I was looking for the um, what do you call it? the uh, CZ, and I was looking something close enough to the CZ. I bought this. It was just an impulse buy. Nothing, there's nothing negative to say about the gun. It does shoot well. I shoot it sometimes. I don't shoot it all the time. Moving on down to a gun I actually do shoot a lot. I use it in competition. Um, I am group three, so I'm not a very, I'm not the greatest shooter on the planet. Uh, I shoot group three. I can't, I haven't been able to move up yet. I don't shoot as much as I want in the competitive shooting world. But um, uh, this is an XDM. I like it. This trigger is smooth. It holds uh, 16 in the mag, one in the hole, 17 rounds, 40 caliber. I like it. It does come in 9mm if you want that. And it does come in at 3.8 if you also want that. Alright, moving on down to a gun that I haven't shot in once again years. This is a uh, Glock Model 29. It is a 10mm. It also holds 10 in the mag, 1 in the hole. I rarely shoot the gun. I bought it just as a collector's item. Just to say I had a 10mm in my collection. So there's not very much to say about the gun. And again, I don't want to take up too much time on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and move on down to a gun that me and my wife both shoot a lot. It is one of Glock's most popular weapons, which is the Glock 19. Uh, this one actually holds a heavy 15-round uh, magazine. So it holds 15 in the mag, one in the hole. Um, as you know, most ma uh, Glock magazines, 9mm, are interchangeable. So if you want to get like a 33-round magazine, you can stick it in there, as most people who would know guns already know. Great gun, beautiful gun, my wife carries it. She actually transitioned over to that smaller gun over there because she wants something easier to carry. All right, moving on down to my very, very first gun. This is my first gun right here. It's a Model 22. Um, I, I, I liked it. Um, I mean, I liked it. I still like it. Um, I shot the shit out of this gun. No shit. I shot well over five, maybe even seven, eight thousand rounds through this gun. I've abused this gun. I treated it. Uh, when I tell you I carried it almost every day, carried it almost day. It was my my personal carry gun. It's the only gun I ever carried. I enjoyed it. It fired just fine. I loved it. All right, moving on to the top to my CZ. Moving on to my CZ. Uh, I just recently got this gun. It is a awesome gun. Um, I, I love it. It's a great gun. And, and I'll tell you this, uh, me and my son, we just recently went out to shoot it. And how'd you like it? How'd you like shooting it? It was good. It was good. It was fun, right? Nine millimeter. I will never get, the only thing I didn't like about the gun was the fact uh, of the, um, I ordered it and I didn't want the safety. I wanted a decocker and what came in was the one with the safety. So I was a little upset with that. But I still took it and I'm not upset that I actually got the weapon. All right, now moving on down to the, um, the MMP. This is an MMP, uh, um, gosh, uh, 40C. I, I like it, I enjoy it. It's a great gun. Uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, 
not much to say about it. I don't want to take up too much time on the video, so I'm gonna move on to the next one, which is my sit my MMP nine nine millimeter. I enjoy it. You enjoyed it too. You shot it yesterday, right? Yes. It was fun. Yeah, shoots awesome. I love it. Moving on down to the MMP. Also shot this one yesterday too, which was the MMP twenty two. Enjoyed it. Loved it. Shoots just fine. Uh, I'm gonna make a part two to this video because you can just go ahead and give an overview of the entire all the entire collection. Just back up. And just, I'm gonna make a part two to this video because I have way more guns that I gotta show. Alright, 